When I was a kid, I was very interested in nature. I mean, I love to be outside and I love learning about dinosaurs and the solar system. I think the best thing that my mom did was not place any stereotypes on me. You know, she didn't force me to play with dolls, but she also didn't force me to play with Legos. I really just wanted to build stuff and shoot the boys with this little slingshot. I think teachers in school always encouraged uh, my math and science abilities and my interest in those subjects as well. I'm good at math, I'm good at science, I know I'm good at those things, and no one's ever suggested that I shouldn't be because I'm a girl. My math teacher this year was actually an engineer herself, and uh, I don't know, I guess it made me realize maybe a girl can do engineering. I think about my math career, and I think back to middle school actually, where um, we were getting ready to go into high school, and the counselors were actually very negative towards people with kind of going into more advanced math. And they were like, I don't know if you should go into, pre or into algebra. You should probably go into pre-algebra. And I was like, no, I want to go into algebra. Um, and so I feel like I really had to fight, even at the middle school level, to kind of get to a place that I felt I should be. Young girls, they might start out with an interest in something when they're, when they're kids. And then as they go through the school system, as they go through college, or even after college when they get their first job, not many women end up staying in, that, in, in those industries because of discrimination, of how they're treated. I have been in a purchasing role where um, the salesperson doesn't necessarily take me seriously because I'm a woman. They, they might look to, my, uh, look to one of my coworkers who's who's male uh, when they have more technical comments to make. I think one of the biggest struggles with, um, with me really getting involved in, I guess, a science, um, science and engineering field, um, one of the biggest struggles that I had to overcome at first was feeling like I belonged. And even like when I came to Michigan, feeling like I belonged was really tough. I just focus on graduating and doing the best that I can. And the best is preparing, you know, so I prepared prepare for those exams. I was, I was a very good note taker, so a lot of people came to me and asked, you know, Taylor, did you have the notes for, you know, the structures <laughs> class? It's hard because you're like, especially like if you're a girl, it might be, you, you might run into cases where you're the only girl in your class or you're the only girl in like whatever program you're doing. But the fact that you're, th you're there brings so much diversity and so much, you know, variety to that, to that atmosphere. Um, and I think it's important that girls look at it that way and really, you know, um, make it their business to be the ones to bring that spice and that flavor to that environment because I feel like it's just needed. I just want to go out there and kind of present uh, a positive face for science and engineering. And, um, you know, I'll show that we're all different. You change the thinking, um, and if you, you change what you expose to these young minds, and, and you show them that this is an opportunity for them, then it'll become more commonplace. Because in the end, it's gonna be like my own mentality that takes me to where I want to go. And um, I should just be surrounding myself with people who want to see me excel. Just go for it and just do it. And don't let, you know, your environment decide what, you know, you, what field you're gonna go into. Because sure, there might be a lot of guys or sure there might be a lot of, you know, um, faces who look alike, but just different from you. That shouldn't determine what you want to do. Um, what should really determine what you want to do is like the passion that you have for it. And if you're full of passion for something, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta do it. <laughs>